Lee was born in 1957 in Jakarta, Indonesia to Chinese parents. Him and his family fled the country to escape anti-Chinese sentiment. Lee Young Lee suffered from the fact that he was living in a world of dislike as anti-Chinese sentiment discriminated against Chinese Indonesians in Indonesia. After time being on the run, Lee's father was arrested due to the Chinese sentiment and he was placed in prison for 19 months. Lee was devastated by the fact that he didn't have his father for that amount of time. Lee Young Lee's father eventually escaped the prison and helped lead the trek for his son and his wife through Hong Kong to Macau all the way to Japan. And after the five year long trek, him and his family finally settled in the U.S. in 1964. Though Lee had some troubles in his life, he also introduced two books called Rose and The City in Which I Love You. Both of these books consisted of many poems by Lee Young Lee and are popular today. Next, I'm going to read the poem that I chose for you guys. It's called A Story by Lee Young Lee. It was made in 1957. Sad is a man who has asked for a story and can't come up with one. His five-year-old son waits in his lap. Not the same story, Baba. A new one. The man rubs his chin, scratches his ear. In a room full of books and a world of stories, he can recall not one, and soon, he thinks the boy will give up on his father. Already the man lives far ahead. He sees the day this boy will go. Don't go. Hear the alligator story. The angel story once more. He loved the spider story. He left the spider. Let me tell it. But the boy is packing his shirts. He's looking for his keys. Are you a god? The man screams. That I sit mute before you? Am I a god that I should never disappoint? But the boy is here. Please, Baba. A story? And it's an emotional rather than logical equation. An earthly rather than heavenly one. Which posits that a boy's supplications and a father's love add up to silence. Ambivalence is seen between the father and the son. They both want something from one another in order to be happy. For example, the boy wants a story or else, supposedly, he's going to end up leaving just for not hearing it. And the father is so desperate just to tell a story that if he doesn't tell it, then he's going to be furious. The dad needs to take a chill pill and just relax. He seems to be crying over his five-year-old boy leaving someday. The dad acts like it's the end of the world and wants some of his boring stories to be told. If he wants to read a story so bad, then do it for a living. Hey dad, why don't you get a job reading? Also, the dad doesn't even stop complaining about losing his son. His unconscious feeling gets the best of him in a way that can't be stopped. For crying out loud, how are you going to think of your son leaving far ahead in your thoughts? Lee Young Lee obviously is fond of stories. Why not put it in a poem, right? He is really aware that storytelling can possibly end the bond of father and son. The reader sees this by wishing the dad could just read a story already. Instead of wasting time, read a story from your book collection to make your son happy.